Back in October, we had one of the most visible bot surges in the game's history, or so it felt anyways. In this footage, I went to the minnows, and the first account I saw was level 3 with 19 million fishing XP. And a Twitter user noticed sharks were under 300 GP each back in October. With the volume of sharks being traded multiple times higher than other popular foods, it was clear the bots were out of control. And this greatly affected the supply and price of sharks. But Jagex has brought out the ban hammer and been busting the bots. In August, for old school RuneScape alone, we banned 201,600 bots. In July, we banned 261,603 bots. We covered this story on this channel, and I didn't think of it much again. But I had bought 100,000 sharks for community giveaways, but after some feedback, I was rebalancing the giveaway prizes and selling half of the sharks. And that's when I discovered the price of sharks had nearly tripled just since I got them for the giveaways. Hmm, tripled my investment. Nice. And after a little more inspection, it seems that sharks have been rising for months, landing at over 900 coins on this day, April 1st of 2024. And no, this is not an April Fool's joke. There'll be something for that later. But this meteoric rise in the price of sharks didn't start until after our and Sir Pugger's videos in October. And actually, a little segment in Sir Pugger's latest video reveals more information directly from the shark bot owner. I featured their story with Minnow's bots in a previous video, and I was following up with them about it because apparently Minnow's bots are now banned within 24 hours like clockwork after that video, which is great news. The bots have been busted and the community gold pool is 40 million GP richer. But the biggest, most important thing is that actual players could do minnow fishing for profit. There are so many new players that have been coming to RuneScape recently, and so this being a viable moneymaker again is really good news. Welcome back to RuneScape Chronicles. We upload every Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and a strange bug seems to have taken place in Lumbered Swamp Caves. The wall beast walls have broken off of the, well, walls, and are impassable. So I decided to check it out. Alright, let's see what's going on here. I teleported to the water altar, and when I got to the cave, I discover there's nothing wrong with the hole in the wall. Maybe this guy's just pulling a prank on people. But I'm on world 305, so I go to world 311 like Fawn Vuzzy suggested. Let's check out 311. <gasps> what? Oh, <laughs> we got a guy who's stuck. He doesn't know what to do. He's just a lost little puppy. Two seconds later. I'll just uh, repair this real quick. Yeah, uh, that should do it. <gasps> Please don't hit 76. 63. This is not good, bro. I'm on like 60s. No, oh, you know what, bro. I'm, I'm just drinking now. Stop, you move forward. Can someone clip? I want to see my mouse click square forward, bro. Like, I want to see how I managed to do that, man. <laughs> okay. Got to react fast, potentially. Let's pray up. Oh, what? I got the range weapon. <gasps> oh, you don't want to fumble this one, MMORPG. But if he lives, will he claim it or continue on with the waves and risk it? There we go. Star completed. 2,000 cannonballs next wave or take. Is he going to take this unique or cannonballs? Well, I think we know the answer to that. Hmm, I think I'll take the, uh, take the dude. <laughs> the 1,000 clog looking clean. As I said, I could actually green log the entire thing before getting the shards done, which would be the ideal situation because then you're pretty much done with Colosseum, innit? I will end up tanking him anyway, though. Hmm. I guess his hat is telling the truth. Bro, what the? George. What? Why am I so bad? <laughs> it's really a talent. Don't be so hard on yourself, George. Bro, why am I not praying? What the f is wrong with me? I suck. I suck. I, I genuinely suck at this game, and I'm sorry. I, I hope I hope you're here to watch me suck, because I suck. I really, really suck. Like, Jesus Christ, why small paginas? Because... because of my sucker reach. OH MY GOD! <laughs> Maybe he should stick to the wilderness for now, using the new moon's armor too. Oh 
my god, bro, what a move! I told you, finally! Finally, that's what I was looking for. That's what I was fucking looking for. That's what I've been trying to do for fucking ages. Another chance. Oh, yes, bro. Finally. Good fight, brother. Good fight. That's the power of the fucking axle. Oh, thing, my jig, my jig. Oh, that HGS came out nice and quick. Jesus Christ, got that juicy loot, 17 mil, got him. Thank you, cats, for clipping that. Mutz just got to wave six in the Coliseum, and things are getting weird. Whoa, what? Holy fuck. Wait. Thankfully, that was the practice run. But after a few runs, he's trying it on his hardcore. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Let's go! Oh, those lasers were scary at the end. One of the few hardcores in the game with a max quiver cape. Well done, Mutz. All right, so a little refresher on the Zarpus specs. Yep. That's not what you want to hear when you're duoing the Theater of Blood. If I hit both, you BGS both. Mm -hmm. All right, you hammer once, hit it. Now BGS. Don't die. That part's important. The not dying part is very important. God. So as soon as I see his animation, I'm good to switch. Lane gets a surprise spawn when she's in the Coliseum. Yo! <laughs> He scared the shit out of me. All good. <laughs> Gmo ain't it, says what a toosie. Oh yeah? Wait, you, you wait and see. Are you gonna let them talk about your granite mall like that, skill specs? What did you say? That's what I'm talking about. Soul Reaper acts to Gmo showed no mercy. That is a huge PK. 177 milla, bro. F me. But Skill Specs wants to try a different combo. He decides to dust off the Void Waker as well. Yo, I'm telling you, bro, if I had two hands then, man, hey, dude, no common. Donator has been practicing to get the Fire Cape on his 20 prayer account. He does not have any protection prayers. So he has to tick eat every Jad attack with Purple Sweets. Good fight. There we can go, man. Oh, all right. Now we can finish the account. A little bit later, he goes high risk PKing with the Eclipse at Ladle. Dead. Good fight. Was that fight three? Oh no. Dino's in the Rev Caves when he spots. We don't want that. <laughs> we. Oh man. <laughs> so we. Thing is, he fuck us, man. Respectfully, I do not want to waste my time. Like, I'm here trying to have fun with the paddles, and I'm fighting some guys fighting like it's a tournament. Um, uh, I don't really fancy fighting the ten-tiler. We'll just freeze and leave him. Or do you think we could get him with the paddles? I don't think we're going to get him with the paddles. Uh, we should probably look at getting the hell out of here, right? Freezing him there has not helped us doing that. He got a 40. Don't be big. Don't be big. I swear to God. Um, we have a brew and a half left. Not ideal. Not ideal in the slightest. Get me out of here. He catches that. That's fine. Because we now go outside. But the guy's not giving up. We just caught a zero freeze. Don't need a 48 through prayer, I swear to God. Ah! What are the chances? Someone tell me what the chances are of there being a random guy running past in...
one guy, one guy running at that exact time. On the bright side, today is Dino's birthday. Hope you have a great one, man. A concerned Redditor noticed he received a token for the Squeal of Fortune when he logged in today. But luckily, it was just a prank by the HDOS team. Happy April Fool's Day. Keep your wits about you. Dude, what the hell? Glitch. What the hell am I looking at, Kemp Q Man? Is that just how the game is at the moment? And that's it for today. You can make a big difference to the RuneScape Chronicles community channel simply by clicking the like button below.